What up, what up, what up? Yo, 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 na, 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 na. I am back with another Casty Cast. And I'm a little bit tired. I just got home and got Chipotle. And uh, just doing a little bit of work right now. But I am back at home. I got to go to the office tomorrow. But um, I am actually just going to do, I'm going to make this a three part series. This is the second game of RJB versus Tony G. And we'll see. Actually, we'll see if Tony G spots this out. So we got Tony G on the Terran. We got RJB on the Zerg. And uh, if you guys like my channel, subscribe, leave a comment. And if you guys want to donate, donate. You can donate money on my WhatsApp. Um, Oh, it is gonna get spotted out. So Tony's gonna know. Tony's gonna know. Tony's gonna know. Tony's gonna know that I think he saw that that he's up against a Zerg. And usually, if you're up against a Zerg, instead of getting that third barracks, you want to go straight into the gas, go for the fast academy. So, and sometimes RGB likes to play a little cheesy. We saw him do the lurkers that one game in the last series. Tony G is up one to zero. I think he won. Was it ZVT? ZVT played really, really nicely. So now we got a switch matchup. And here is your Scouty Scout. And also subscribe. I don't know if I said that, but um, and like the like the video. So gonna see. We'll see if he sees a gas or anything. There's no gas. And going to go after the drone ski. He's got a nice little hit off right there. Both players playing at 300 APM. Who do you think is going to win this? And also, I am doing a live cast next Wednesday of, is it David and, I'm forgetting, is it GG Easy, I think? So, next Wednesday, it's 7, I want to say it's 6 Central Time. I've been just kind of so out of it lately, so... Um, I will confirm that in my next cast cast. Put that do not disturb on. And we got a little, what is this? Engineering bay, okay, I was gonna say, is he building a factory over there? And RJB just gonna keep these guys out here. He's got one sunken up here, he's got the gas. We'll see if he goes right into the, he's gonna go with a third hatchery. Don't, I don't count this as a macro hatchery. Technically it is, but third one right here. He's got the vision as well, so you can see when these marines move out. And I'm gonna spot this out, so RJB gonna spot this out and gonna have to cancel this, so kinda had a feeling that there could be maybe some barracks or something like that over here. We go right into the lair. I think he's gonna go with lurkers. And now he's got three Creep colonies. Well, two sunkins, one creep colony. I love the StarCraft music. And uh, Celtics and Heat play tonight. I took, I lost, I lost a lot of money on the. Uh, Who did I lose on? Uh, the Bucks. So, unfortunately, I lost on them. Double starport right here. So I'm gonna go right into the double starport. No extra command center. Getting stim upgraded. Two medics on the way. Supply 37 to 20, and RGB is a little bit supply stuck. Yeah, it looks like he's going straight into Lurker, so we'll see how good his timing is. You want this to match up with this, and it's going to be right there, so perfect timing. Just about. Just about perfect timing, so good job there by RJB. And he's going to go right into actually Hydra. He misclicked this. He's going with Hydra range right now. Interesting. This guy's going to do a little scouty scout action and get blasted. So, and we'll see if it's going to go into a double pitcher science facility. <clears throat> so, I don't know if he's going to try to spot a views a lot. A couple fire bats up here doing their thing. Interesting play from Tony G. 
not going to go in with the fast push or anything. And I don't know how good his TVZ is, so I'm interested to see. Decent amount of hydras right here. And going to have range. Here's your tank. And we'll see how the micro macro is for Tony G. G. You want to try to keep your minerals. Ooh, guy's going to take a hit. Uh, you want to try to keep your minerals under 500 when you're doing this push. So if he can keep his minerals under 500, that's a good thing. And range is done. And I'm going to go with the double. Double drop ship. Okay, I see you, Tony. Tony G. Sickness. Let's see if this works out. He's got the double drop ship. And pushing from the front. Some hydras here. No hydras here. And this is just going to float right on in. And this is going to catch RJB off guard. Where's the fire bats at? Where's the fire bats? Where's your fire bat? Not going to be able to get anything done. And going to go back home. He's going to have to protect this decently. He might want to abort this and play defensively. Now that he's, see he's seen that he's up against a lot of Hydras. So there's your speed on the way. RJB playing this one a little bit uniquely. And going to take this out. Looks like he's about to. Here's your two vessels. And that command center has been taking a long time to finish up. I don't see a spire or anything. And we got a little attack. So we're going to go straight for the attack. This tank's going to go down instantly. There's your speed. So I like this move from RJB. He's got about 24 hydras right here. But building a couple bunkers. There is one tank here. And not sure why he picked those guys up. So I think he's going to go right for the minerals. He's going to repair this. And going to go right after the minerals with this. Don't think he's going to be able to bust through this. He's probably just going to go straight for the tank. Snipe that out and then run on in. Here's your drop though. And he sniped it out. Did not lose any of his drones. And he's in here. In RJ or in Tony G's uh, base. And this is actually going to do some damage. These guys are rallied. Not going to attack. Does have this front. This guy's going to go down. Nice little stack attack. Got the two vessels and... He will probably... Ooh, this is not going to go in the right spot. Don't want to lose a vessel right there. Going to have to irradiate a Hydralis. So that's a a big cost loss for Tony G. Playing at 400 APM, RJB is. He's got a decent amount of money, so he's just microing like crazy. Jesus, it's like he's got three hands, 15 fingers. Gonna snipe this out, trying to repair this. Is it going to go? It's so close. And he takes it out. And I'm surprised that Tony G has not gone after the minerals. There's a couple rates right here, a couple vultures. And just a, not enough macro hatcheries for RJB to kind of keep his mass going. Going to siege up that tank. Got a couple more tanks on the way. Got two machine shops right here. And he's just going to be extremely defensive. Got some Hydras right here. Let's see if he's got Lurker. He should get some Lurkers, I think. Getting mines upgraded and going to have to micro out of there. And can RJB make this a one-to-one -one series here? He needs to see this guy. He's actually going to pick it up. Maybe put it on the hill. He's going to put it right there. Maybe want to build a couple of barracks right here. Kind of wall this off. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. And he's going to lose a factory right there. A couple lurkers or slings coming in here. So that's what happens when you haven't casted in a while. Start calling things the wrong thing. And took out a few SCVs. Down to 34 SCVs. And just a lot of micro action right here. And slowly getting bigger and bigger. Another macro hatchery. Two more right there. And going to start to step out these vessels, I think. Maybe not. And now we got four tanks, so... Tony G is in a decent spot now. And defensive matrix can go after the minerals. And gonna slide in. Like he's sliding in the DMs right there. A radiate coming down. He's gotta have Burrow. He forgot to get Burrow. And he lost only three drones, but mistake right there. Maybe he will get Burrow now. 
There it is. So a little bit late with the burrow. Here's another vessel coming in here. Here's your queen's nest. And that's going to get sniped. Oh, he's going to get it off. And killing. Nice job there by RJB. Killing his own drones to save his other drones there. Sacrificial lamb. And it looks like an armory right there. Double engineering bay. 94 supply. Tw only 21 drones for RJB. So he is... Here's a wraith right here. He has been slowed down decently. And actually, wow. So Tony G is going to go straight for the attack. Realizing he's in a position to just go for it. Here's a couple lurkers. And going to have to push this front. Let's see if that hive... It's made pretty soon. He wants to get that swarm ASAP Ferg. But Tony G might go 2 0 here. We'll see. Gonna lift this up. He's got four barracks right here. And vessel over here. I'm guessing he's gonna realize that a little bit late. He's got two vessels here. Gonna seize these up. But I think he's gonna realize he's got this vessel down here and he's gonna use it. These guys are gonna have to. Go back home. He's got these floated on over. Pumping out the Rhine sauces. And he's going to have to slowly push in here. Spending his money really, really nicely. Tony G usually plays about 180 to 220, 230 APM. Which is plenty fast enough, in my opinion. Look at this guy tripping. And that queen... That hive is not going to be done for a while. Seizing up these guys. He's going to stim these guys on over. Here's your lurkers. Here's your attack. Vessel's coming in. He's going to bring this one vessel over. He's going to go with the triple wave vessel. One after the... Going to burrow. Going after the minerals right now. One burrow. Dropping the tanks as well. Tony G. You beast. Wasn't as effective, but it looked sexy as hell. And to, or, uh, RJB is going to call the GG McGee. And Tony G is going to go up two to zip. Two to zip. Two to zip. Tony G has been practicing. So now we got a PVZ. And I do like Tony's Protoss. I love it was a Bow 9, Bow 11, Bow 13. Who knows? But well, these are pretty close in color. Always feels a bit bad when you lose to input errors. I don't know what that is if you guys want to. Like, was 20 hydrants down? I'm like, uh, build is a 36 hydrant. Input errors. Um, maybe you guys can explain that to me in the comments. Did he not accidentally not build uh, an overlord or something? Yeah, maybe that's what it was. So, Tony G going to go with the double gateway. We'll see if he goes into a nexus. And I like that these games are played on... Well... Uh, ooh, he's on tilt. Is he on tilt? This game is also already over. Yeah, I think a nexus is coming from Tony G. And... I think we can keep this sped up a little bit. There's your Nexus. I'm gonna put the Nexus down here. Go into a forge. Get up the two Zellies coming out. And I think we're gonna see a fast, fast Reaver push. And a couple of Zerglings right here. I'm gonna use these Zealots right here. Maybe put a cannon or two down here. Getting the double gas. Got a cannon right here. I like the the build order from Tony G. This probe can't get sniped out though. Gotta be careful with it. There is your cannon and cannon. 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 This is gonna go down for sure. I'm gonna cancel that. Don't wanna lose the probe. Pretty good micro here from Tony G though. Ooh, the probe is gonna go down. Oh, there we go. So good job there by RJB. RJB and Tony G. Here's your cyber. And I think tomorrow I will do the last games. So. There's a decent amount of them. 
So we got four Sunkins. No gas yet for RJB. He's got the Zergling and he saw. Don't know what he saw. Got a, a Zergling over here. And here's your double cannons. Probably gonna get that robotics. I actually came up with this build a long time ago, but I used to do it with a a mid build. Uh, a mid build and then go right into a super fast push. Back when I was in Mafia. <clears throat> and I was able to beat some good players back in the day like John and Hash with it. But that was like the only matchup I could beat them in. PVZ and it worked every time. Especially if they're in a middle spot. But corner spot's a lot tougher because the Reavers kind of get tripped up by the Sunkins. And RJB tried to get a little, little scout in, so nice little attempt there, but cannon up at the front. So I'm getting a decent amount of, so two gateways and a Stargate. <clears throat> Putting a chamber here, I like that from RJB. And he's going with all out hatcheries. So gonna make another one it looks like, possibly. There's your Hydralis Den. And macro up pretty nicely. So here's your support bay getting speed. So gonna go with the reaver push. Is he just going with or is he gonna go with a drop? So he's got a shuttle on the way. And I I would say that Tony G's best race is Protoss. I think he's got a solid TDP, so. A very solid TVP. Let's see if any Hydras are on the way. We got two Hydras on the way. There's one gonna get, and he's got already three Sunkins back here, so he'll be completely fine. And dropping some Zellies in here, but these guys are not gonna get anything done. Gonna probably lose this Overlord though. Don't want to lose a Hydra. I'm gonna lose one. Let's see if Reaver's on the way. Yeah, Reaver's on the way. And you got the Templar Archives. Getting Scarab damage upgrade. And these guys are a lost cause. But gonna keep taking out Overlords and look at 38, 38 supply for RJB. Reaver should be popping out. It did. If I pick up these two guys, he should have picked up these two guys. Now he's just gonna push, so we'll lose another Overlord. And here comes another Corsair. Nice job getting a Spore Colony. And just being extremely, extremely annoying with these Corsairs. And another one's probably. Nope, he's not making it anymore. This upgrade should be close. He's to rally these guys right up here. And this Reaver is, this is why you get an evolution chamber because it has 750 hit points and it takes at least eight, eight or nine scarab shots. So it really buys you a lot of time to build a lot of Hydras. Lair is finished and if you get a lot of Hydras and then you get a bunch of Zerglings, the Zerglings will take the damage from the Scarabs, and then your Hydras can just snap out the Reavers. So that's that's usually what Hamburger Sasu goes with. Uh, he likes to go with a bunch of hatcheries, kind of like RJB's going for here. And then wait till the Protoss pushes in far enough, and then he'll go with a full-on flank attack here, flank from here, and then flank from here, but he'll have some Zerglings mixed in there and um, can really do a lot of damage. Even if it's seven, eight, nine Reavers, he's usually able to do a good job. And this is where the Reavers just go a little bit too far. This guy's going to go down, so he's going to lose one Reaver right there. And sometimes you just want to keep that shuttle right here and just pick it up real quick just in case. 
it is getting attacked. So look at all these gateways for Tony G. He's got double upgrades. And gonna go straight for the attack. He's got that first upgrade on attack, but this is gonna be a lot of Hydra's gonna try to take out the Reaver. He needs those Zerglings in here. So see how see how many Hydra's went down right there, and a lot are gonna go down right there. There's a Templar right here. Nice little storm action. Gonna take out the Reaver, and now he might go for the attack though. Two two cannons up here. He's got a decent amount of Hydra's. Trying to get these guys close in. And close to each other so they can just keep on attacking getting bunched up can take out the shuttle nicely and rjb in a pretty good position right now see if he's getting no lurker he's got a decent amount of hatcheries a lot of zealots here though gonna micro and take this out nicely and we'll probably see tony g build three or four Robotics, oh here they are. So I'm gonna build a bunch of robotics right here and just really just make a huge base, I think. And I think I I had COVID uh, in my last cast or whatever. I was just I don't know if you guys could tell my voice, but we're there. Let's see what Tony G's seeing right now. It'd be pretty sick to drive a Corsair. It's almost like a Tesla in the air. Pretty, pretty sick. It's probably like 200 G's right there. Got the Tesla in the air. So here's your robotics. He's just gonna kind of build out his whole base. Want to get make make sure you get some cannons here. He doesn't want to get muta bombed or just dropped in general. Gonna bring some drone skis up here. Keep building sunkins. Couple spores. I like when there's spore, uh, spores up here because um, they deter the Corsairs and also observers as well so you get a couple lurkers they will deter lurkers to some degree this guy's scouting and this is giving RJB a lot of time here Getting, he's got his double evolution chamber queen's nest on the way spire gonna finish up we have seven macro hatcheries plus one down here, eight. And he did lose this one. And look at this huge base for Tony G U Knit. And he's going all zealots and Templars here. And he's got all three upgrades, so one, one, two. So nice upgrades right there. Templar chilling like a chill billy. Is this a drop ski? No, Corsair. Unless he got sniped, nope. They will get, that one's gonna get sniped. Some eggs up here making lurkers. And. I end up pushing in right now. So, got the Templars, he's got a lot more units. I think these upgrades are killing it. It's a drop, no, Corsair. And it's the burl these guys up. I, I don't think an observer is gonna be coming anytime soon. So, I think. RJB's gonna be okay. And I don't know what these guys are doing. And a lot of robotics here, so I like this from Tony G. Very, very nice. And Tony G, I mean, he's got a full, full base and he's still building up. He's got just about the right amount of probes. He's gonna have 65 to 70. Money is getting spent extremely well. And he's been getting it all of his upgrades. So he's got three forges. And if he lands a Templar job, that's going to be huge. And RJB just going to keep kind of choking up as much as he can. He needs to make these into sunkins. Maybe build a hatchery up here, kind of wall this off again. It's just his money is very, very low. There's a drop ski, a not ski, to be dot ski. Is it gonna get sniped? Drop in, there's your Templar, and 50 drones all the way down to fried to 24 French fried. And busting through the front, I think Tony G might go through, I don't know. 
He needs to get that observer up here though. He should just run these guys all the way down, I think. But very, very nice drop. And look at how quickly the mass from Tony G is. He's got another drop. And that's one thing I like about Tony G is he's very good at dropping. He can continuously and quickly keep dropping. That's why I think he has a really, really strong Protoss. Probably getting a couple Reavers, maybe. There's your Reavers right there. And going to have two, one, two. He should have the other ones close to done. He's going to be two. It's actually going to be three. Two, one, three, I think. Here's that drop. He drop McDropski. And he's going to get the Templar and get all of the drones. Beautiful job. They're going to go all the way down to nine drone skis. Another storm right there. And this is looking deeply in favor of Tony G. Is he going to 3 and 0 RJB? And then just not rematch and just say, I'm done, I'm out, I quit. 3 and 0, GG, no re? kidding how how annoyed would you be if you get if you lost three and all like that i mean i remember pe players used to do that all the time you lose three and all to someone that you, you just like ah i know it's i know i can beat this person and then they three and all you and they don't so i think rjb is going to call it like 40 percent of my usual level Forfeit the rest. I'm too off. I think he's going to maybe play a different day. But we know there's other games, so... Not going to get that storm off. And there's another four shuttles right there just busting through the front. Lurkers are chilling. And this is why Reavers are so annoying. Storm going to come down right there. Nice job. Nice, nice job. I mean, I don't, I don't know if RJV played bad. I really, I'd have to rewatch this and figure out exactly what he did wrong. But I think that maybe he needed to wall this off a little bit better. But. RJB going to lose three in a row. So, I am going to end the cast here. And I got more games of them playing. Going to post this today. Give it a like, subscribe, and donate if you want to my WhatsApp. And uh, I am going to finish the rest of them tomorrow when I get off of work. So, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.